copy that. Here is a draft service agreement for your review and consideration. Effective immediately if all is in order. Ah, wait a sec, wait a sec. I forgot to sign it. Gan you. There. Right. Now, what was it you needed me to do for you exactly? It's so nice to de-stress. If you lie on the grass, you can feel the heartbeat of the world. Should we really be off work this early? There is still a lot left to do. Oh, good. I was just thinking that the silk flowers at the Feiyun Commerce Guild needed watering. The transport coordinators will probably moan about the muddy mountain roads again, though. It is something of a luxury, but I love listening to the rain from the courtyard. Oh, the sun's out. When did that happen? Ah, the air is just right. Ah, I love the smell of glaze lilies. Morning. What's wrong? Is there something stuck in my hair? Oh, please don't stare at my hair piece. <sighs> oh, I need a nap. If there aren't any urgent matters, I'll excuse myself. Look how brightly lit the city is at night. Amazing. I wonder what it's like for all the people down there. Hmm? Um, no thanks. I think I'll pass on the night market. Sorry. May Rex Lapis watch over you. May your dreams be peaceful and sweet. My job is to honor my contract with Rex Lapis by looking out for the interests of all living things in Liyue. I finished all my assignments early today. Uh, overtime? I understand. I'll get right on the case. Where merchants flock and all ships dock, and over the oceans flows its stock. People say this in praise of Liyue's prosperity, but a city only becomes this successful through everyone playing their part diligently. That's the attitude I take to my work. I want to be worthy of what we enjoy here. I've named every single doggy living in Liyue, but they're so funny. Some of them still respond even when you call them the completely wrong name. How fascinating is that? Like if people were to call me Bantu, how am I supposed to know they're talking to me? No way would I respond. Chingsen flower petals are pretty tasty. Incredibly tasty, actually. The only reason I don't plant any at Yujing Terrace is because they taste so good that I worry I wouldn't be able to control myself. Huh? Bitter? Yes, they are. Isn't that what they're supposed to taste like? You have a last minute job for me? Okay, uh, sorry, please don't try and explain it all verbally. Write it down, leave a note here. I'll get to it as soon as possible. My hobby? I would say my job. What? Why don't jobs count as hobbies? I thought hobbies are supposed to be things you look forward to doing, and that make you feel good when you've done them. That describes my job perfectly. So what's the issue? I don't understand why people insist on going all out to try and prove how their existence is more valuable than everyone else's. To exist in the first place is a beautiful thing. And that's enough, isn't it? Drink only spring water, eat only whole grains. That's my motto. So I would be grateful if you could please remove that treacherously enticing looking plate of delicacies from my field of view. Much obliged. Chilins are strict vegetarians, so please do not take offense when I decline meat dishes. Yes, that includes your vegetable fritters, since they have been fried in animal fat. Thanks, but I can't. I'm afraid I really can't. 
I don't mean to argue, it's just I have a keen sense of smell, so I know how they've been cooked. Many happy returns. After all the times you've looked out for me, I didn't even remember to get you a gift. Oops. Silly me, I... What's that behind my back? Oh, you saw it then. It's a failed attempt at making a Chingsin flower cake. I wanted it to be perfect, but... Oh, you think it tastes good? Do you really? Power? Now there's a key performance indicator I haven't needed in a long time. 